Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last. Masha, not your night tonight, but um, yeah, just your initial reaction. Obviously, I know it's quite raw at the moment, but just your initial reaction to your quarter final defeat. Uh, gutted, genuinely um, gutted. Gutted because I fought, I won. Um, I fought, I just nipped it, to be honest. Um, I thought I won two rounds to one, um, and yeah, I, I, it was a tough first round, and because um, he was quite slippery and one, and I, and I gave him the first round. I didn't want to give him the first round, but he took the first round, um, and then so come the second round, Sean was saying, you know, box you, punch your way in, you you, you know, land a, land a jab, and it was landing. I was punching my way in. And, Felt like the second round, I'd just done enough to get myself back into the fight and even things up a little bit. And then the third round, I felt like um, I just, you know, threw enough at him to win the third round. And, you know, it was close. Um, you know, I'm not a judge, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm in there to win the fight and, and, I, and I didn't win the fight, so... Um, I'm, I'm just a bit gutted because I've worked hard for him. As you know, I've come a long way to get to this stage. So um, it's just a bit disheartening not to come away with the win. So let's take it as a given that he won the first round, you won the third round. The general consensus ringside was that, look, whoever wins the third round is going to be a semi-finalist. What do you think, from a judging perspective, they saw in the second round from Corey that would have given it to him? Because we're taking it as, look, he won the first and you won the third. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fazer, go on, son, he's in. Yeah, lad. Um, I think they must have just sort of went with, um, um, you know, just moving. You know what I mean? Because obviously I was coming forward. Uh, well, I felt like I was I was press, pressing the fight. Um, but it just look. It, maybe it was maybe it was just his moving. Like I was throwing a lot, so obviously I was missing a lot. But I was landing a lot as well. I was working more. Um, but I, as I say, I'd have to look at look what you're back to, um, give give a proper you know analysis of it. But um, they must have just looked at his movements and just went with with the with the slippery type of movements in the second round. Maybe I don't know. There was a lot of people who wanted to see you win tonight, and obviously the cynic in a lot of people might have gone mashes older than he was, of course, we all age. Um, you haven't fought for a while and there would have been cynics would have gone, you know what, what has Masha got in the tank? But do you think you proved tonight that, look, away from three rounders, this ain't normal. Away from these three round fights that you can still give so much in eight rounders and 10 rounders to this sport? Yeah, um, 100%. You know, uh, felt good in there. Uh, I felt like it just went so quick and um, I wanted to go back in and do, do it again with him. Um, I just got it because I'm, I'm, I, I was just, I was ready to go all night. And I was going to say, now you look in a place where if you would have come through, you look ready. Uh, yeah, yeah you, you ain't got a scrape, you look Nothing good. Like. Me. I, I mean, I mean, he burst my eardrum in the second round, you know, so um, he, he's perforated my eardrum in the second round. Uh, that buzzed me. But again, it, it didn't affect me. Um, it's only affected me now. I can't hear out that, that side. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was just, 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 just got to because um, I just thought I just thought I might I just thought I'd done enough. Generally, for and I and every person I spoke to outside of the ring have said you should have won the fight um, or you did win the fight. So um, when you hear everybody telling you that as well, and I don't believe anybody's lying to me either. You know what I mean? If they're being honest, so um, it is what it is. Got it like so. Good, good on Corey. Good luck, good on him, mate. I was going to say, what was it like being in with someone that I think he was going in as a tournament favourite, if you look at the bookies, got quite a good amateur background and you could tell what sort of fight he was going to fight. What was it like being in there with Corey? Did you feel like you was in there with someone that was levels above you or on your level? What did you sort of feel like being in there with Corey? Um, it felt like being back, um, you know, starting a new... I felt like... We, 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 I don't know, I felt like... A, a novice again starting off so it was just like you know just get in get out of 
um, and he, he, you know, it was like the amateur days. He had the amateur style, so he was, he was, he, you know, he was, he was quite slippery to, to to lean back, to step back, and to move. So I, he was, you know, he switches a lot. So it was more of just trying to pin him down. But he, he done a lot of head movement. He done a lot of swinging around, grabbing me and pulling me in, and you know, so. Um, he, he was quite a slippery opponent, do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, he do, he done well to to to, to move away, to, to to stay out the way, do you know what I mean? And uh, you know, it felt like if he had uh, hold of his feet a little bit, uh, I would have you know got to him a bit more, you know what I mean? Um, but you know, credit to him, he, he he had a game plan and he stuck to it. We had our game plan as well. Um, and I feel like we stuck to ours and, and, and you know, I'm done ours well enough, do you know what I mean? Uh, but what I will give him, I'll give him credit that he was, he was, he, he, he was good on the night, do you know what I mean? I thought I would have got to him a bit more in the first round and, you know, and that's credit to him that I didn't, do you know what I mean? I wish I, I'm not wishing, I, I, I tried, do you know what I mean? But he was good, so, you know, the first round, he, 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 you know, I'll, he'll have to, I'll give it, give it to him. But again, second round we switched it up then and and, and changed it and we, you know we got into our stride and and and, um, and that was that. Yeah. Just finally from me, Master, obviously I interviewed you two years ago in this arena. Obviously you had that strange fight with Tom Fowler. Didn't really get to to kick into gear. Saw you again at the media day and we done an interview that done the rounds online and just seeing the love that people have got for you, Masher, and seeing how many people wanted you to win this. Can you make a promise now on IFL TV that you're going to get back in the gym and we're going to see Masher in the ring again? Because I think after tonight, that's a promise that a lot of people will want to see. I can't promise you that, I'll be honest. Um, be, uh, but I thought I was going to win this and I was going to retire um, again. <laughs> But you know, it was an early night. You know what I mean? It feels like I've done. I don't feel like I've done four. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I worked hard. He worked. I worked as hard as I could, or as I, I had to without. Because he's a good kid. Do you know what I mean? If I felt like a, if I had, didn't respect him, and I, he would, you know, he'd have chinned me. Do you know what I mean? Because he hit me with a good shot and he burst me at him in the second round. So I'm deaf in that ear. Um, so you know, he can bang a bit. You know what I mean? So I had to, you know. Be, aware, be careful of not getting it by the good shot because he hit me with a few good shots. So that's off to him. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm just wounded, you know what I mean? But I'm happy. I'll be all right once I get home. And you know, I'll be all right once I've had a cold shower, to be honest. I'm going to go and get a cold shower in a minute. That's the match we know. Yeah, once I've had a cold shower, speak to Lee as well. And uh, I'll be fucking, I'll be, sorry, I'll be fine, mate. Do you know what I mean? I will be, I will be fine. I'm just, I'm just gutted, do you know what I mean? Because I, I just thought I was gonna do it, you know what I mean? And 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 especially when I was I was when 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 you know when I should have done it. I mean I mean the car the when I, I should have been given the decision, mate. I don't know, you know what I mean? But either way, I didn't. So I've got to deal with that now. I will deal with it, uh, but I'm not gonna say I'm retired. I won't say. No, I'll never say never. I spoke to Ben. Uh, he's a good lad, and um, you know, boxer series. It's a new format with 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 Sky and stuff, and I've really enjoyed the build up. I've really enjoyed the setup, and he's a way he's looked after us. Apart from being harassed by a few of the boxer boys, <laughs> I won't mention the name, but you know who they are. <laughs> uh, but it's been good. It has been good. Um, it's it, I've enjoyed it, and like you know, Ben said, uh, if we can if if we can maybe look at something in the future to fight, maybe, but. I'm not going to promise, but I'm definitely going to stay on the path of what I'm on, this journey, carry on, you know, working on this inner engineering stuff. And I want to stay in the gym boxing 100%. I am. Boxing is like, boxing is no boxing, no life, as Canelo says. Um, and, and yeah, definitely going to stay in the gym, training, working on myself. And if we get it, another opportunity, I'll be thankful for it. And I am, um, depending on who it is, I'm not just saying like I mean if it, it depending on what it is if it if it's worth it I'll do it but if it's not um, I won't. Yeah. Masha, love you, respect you, and uh, yeah, top man. Cheers, Oscar. Thank you and IFL and everybody as well for coming out and watching us and supporting us. Um, the noise was unbelievable. The atmosphere was electric. Um, 
I thank you so so very much, and um, we'll see we'll see where the story goes from here.